on this matchup tomorrow and and what it's like playing in a knockout stage uh, game in the NWSL for the first time uh, for this team? Yeah, of course, the one-hour goals this season uh, have been the playoff in, in both the Challenge Cup and in the league. And now we are here uh, for the first time in the club's history in the playoff in the Challenge Cup. Uh, we are proud of that, but in the same time, um, we have a, a great opportunity to now to take uh, a trophy. Uh, to <clears throat> sorry, uh, two games away. Oh, sorry, uh, two games away from uh, a trophy. Uh, we know that we are a good team. Uh, a team that's doing better and better the whole time. Uh, so I think uh, when you have a chance to win something, you need to take it. Um, it's going to be a tough game. We play against Old Rain with one of the best squads in the world. Um, top 10 at least. Um, always tough games against them. Since I came uh, to the club, we have played against them four times in the league. All of them with the same uh, result or all of them a draw at least. Uh, um, so I think it's going to be a, a close game tomorrow as well. Uh, but um, I think we have a good chance to win. Okay, we'll go to questions. Uh, Michael, go ahead. Um, from a fan's perspective, sometimes knockout uh, matches look different to to a fan. They look like maybe they are you know treated a little bit differently from a just a normal league match. Uh, but from a preparation perspective perspective or from a you know a tactics perspective do you do you treat a knockout match any differently than you would just like a kind of a normal league match the only difference i will say that we we know that especially we know extra uh, no extra time it's going to be uh, there is a risk for penalties uh, so that's have been a part of our preparation um since one week ago we started with it there have been some uh, Penalty tournaments in the trainings. Um, we Honestly, about I was amazed bit. by everything. I could not believe that this was here. I had no idea. All right. Uh, we have talked about it. Uh, of course, we prepare uh, our goalkeepers for the tournament uh, for penalties as well. So that's the bigger dif biggest difference, I will say. But otherwise, it's like a game, like like a normal game. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, Kim, where are you guys at health-wise for this one? You were missing quite a few pieces last game. Just, just a general health team health update ahead of this one. Yeah, to start with, uh, uh, Wang Shuang is away and play for, for China. Uh, and she will be there for a while. Uh, we, uh, Jordan is still in Louisville. Um, and the same with Carson Pickett. Um, Howell and Nadia getting closer. So they are back in training and they are with us here. And I will see if they are ready for some minutes. Uh, and then we will see for how many. Becky, go ahead. A few days out now from the win against Portland. What's the energy like around the team? Are they more confident? Are they feeling any different? Or is it just like on to the next, we have another challenge ahead of us, just wipe the slate clean and start over again. Yeah, I think it was really important for, for the group and for the players to feel that we have talked about the whole time since I came to the club that we want to fight with the best. Uh, we feel that this year that we have a potential to do that. And we're doing better and better for every single game. And now we are there when, when we did it, uh, not just words. So I think it was really important for, for the players, but also for for the club and for the fans and for the city to see that we're doing something really great. And yeah, we had the chance to show that now in the last game and let's keep building from that momentum. For me as a coach, I think the more, more important was the three points because yeah, I've been coached for, for 18 years or something like that, head coach for 18 years. So I can see where we are in the process. So for me, it's, I'm not that surprised to be honest, but uh, I really love the, the three points that we took. Go ahead, Michael. Uh, how important is it to come out and, and get a fast start like you did against Portland, you know, and maybe not give up a goal uh, early uh, like you did against Portland, you know, a little bit easier to overcome at home, but how important is it to get a fast start in Seattle? 
Um, yeah, I, I think it's important to keep building from the momentum that we had in Portland. So if we do that, we're going to keep the energy, uh, positive energy, and hopeful can we, if we can score a, a goal early, that's going to be good for us. But in the same time, we have shown that even like, in, like Portland, they, they scored actually the first goal, even had the good start. So, but we are good enough and we have a great team spirit. So we will fight into the end, even if they score the first goal or not. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, Kim, Laura Malay crossed the 5,000-minute the mark, I think, last match. Uh, we've talked with you before about her making that position switch, and it's been pretty seamless for how calming has she been back there as, like, a constant presence on the back line? Uh, I think she has been one of our best players. Uh, um, one of the players that is uh, first on the paper. Uh, for me as a head coach, um, a player that doing the same thing like the team, doing better, better the whole team. Uh, um, a good thing with her is that she can play a little bit everywhere. Uh, the good thing for her right now is that she has played more uh, games in the same position. That helps her. Um, and I think uh, she did really good as outside back in the start of the year and when she played there the last year as well. But I mean, in the last two months or something like that, I think she has been one of the best outside backs in the league. And uh, in the defense, for example, we had like a, typical, a couple of examples when she was running in. It was almost a little too aggressive in the start of the season, but she had learned from her. So in a tactical aspect, I think she's much better right now. And I think she's someone for the national team actually to take a look at. How much of a leader has she been for the club? She's one of the few who's been here all three years just is, is her presence i guess felt off the field as much as on the field with the team i mean she's really popular in the group uh, amazing personality amazing player a player that always do her best training game doesn't matter so she's exactly a type of a both the person and, and player that we want to have here in Liverpool. Anything else for Kim? Uh, yeah, just real quick. Can you just uh, tell us how you how you would rate uh, Rebecca Holloway's performance filling in for Carson in the last few matches? I think she has been really good, uh, especially in the defense. Uh, um, a mistake in the last game, uh, and it's easy to to feel sorry for yourself when you do that. But she was keep working hard in the whole game and together with with a. Uh, Abby, Julie, and Lowe, they did an amazing job in the defense. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with her. Last call. Any any other questions for Kim? Yeah, I've got I've got one more. Oh, go ahead, Tyler. Um, you kind of mentioned the confidence boost that a team gets from a win that you just got. When you guys have been so close okay. to that breakthrough moment, and now you finally have it. Do you just keep pointing to that as like a as a point of affirmation for them to say, "Hey, now we can use this to springboard the rest of the way uh, for a playoff race, Challenge Cup, anything?" Um, yeah, it's a good question, and uh, yeah, I think so. To to actually, we I, I talked with with a couple of players after the last game, and I said, like, do you want to have some feedback uh, from the last game against now Portland because we don't have so many days to work and we need to travel to here and things like that or you just want to keep building with the momentum like the the energy and the feeling from the last game and they said yeah that's that's good enough for right now we don't need to look at details from the last game we need just need to focus on the all the rain game and uh, keep building and keep have the same energy that we had against portland so i think that's more important actually right now than looking at the small details especially in the in the end of the season we have worked hard, both the staff and players, for a long time. It's easy that you start to get a little bit tired. It's easy that you find excuses, is uh, especially with injuries and things like that. But we right now need to make the difference between the teams that they're not winning and and maybe not make a player, for example. And we would don't want to be that part, uh, that kind of team. We want to be a winning team. So now we need the final push, uh, no matter what. So. 
keep the build, uh, keep building and keep having the momentum that we had in Portland and bring it into the semifinal against the rain.